Hello and welcome to Prussian News. First, a look at the headlines. Truck owners and says Avedanta spared both parties adamant on their stand as agitation continues. 5,000 workers of says Avedanta stare at no work, no pay. Women commissioned to take Rivona minor girl molestation case to police headquarters and home minister tells school to debar accused teacher Pravas Naik. CCP polls on 7th March, State Election Commission informs the High Court filing of nomination from 10th of February, Montserrat's delimitation plea on 4th Jan. Guidelines for sand extractors final 1400 cubic meter extraction limit extractors to pay 85,000 annual royalty, vehicle tracking system mandatory. And Christmas round the corner, glimpse at the preparation across the state, Goa all set to welcome Santa Claus. Now the news in detail. Says Avedanta is firm on iron ore transportation rate. Company has warned to suspend ongoing mining operation if the truck owners are not agreed with 8 rupees per ton per kilometer rate. Company has also decided not to give salary to thousands of his employees if there is no work. More than 5,000 employees are working in Says and all are under tremendous pressure for no work, no pay. Deadlock between the truck owners and Cesar Vedanta over O transportation rate seems not ending. Now Cesar has decided to suspend its ongoing mining operations. Company in its statement has stated that the agitating All Goa Truck Owners Association does not represent the truck owners along the O transportation route. Company said that if the transport does not start at an agreed rate of rupees eight per ton per kilometer. Company will have no other option but to suspend the operation started in August this year. Such suspension will naturally result in no work, no pay. Nearly 5,000 workers are working in Cesar. Cesar Goa workers have now requested the agitating truck owners not to disturb the iron ore transportation. Company already have their candle hat and current take up the current hat and take care of the parodana. Take care of the stacky, there is a single turn with the mal produce current. After warning from the Cesar Vedanta company, Workers are now fearing losing their livelihood. Workers will meet the CM on Wednesday for his intervention to break the deadlock. Reporter Mahesh Kari and Uday Parab for Prudent. The Goa State Commission for Women has taken strong cognizance of molestation of a minor girl at a high school in Rivona. Commission has demanded to debar the accused teacher from his services. Commission has accused the Sange police of watching up the case and allow the accused teacher to get anticipatory bail. Commission will write to the police headquarters on this lackluster attitude of Sange police towards the minor victim. A 14-year-old schoolgirl was allegedly molested by teacher Pravas Naik. The shameful act was committed at Rivona High School in Sange. A complaint was filed by victim's father at Sange Police Station, but nothing happened. On Tuesday, a group of social activists met the Goa State Commission for Women and demanded action against the accused teacher. During the meeting, the members made startling revelation on how Sange Police botched up the case and supported accused teacher. PSI for dealing a shilotaka with Salanki to me, Tashi Kira, he majorly filed for Nami Dusra Mujamkani, Dabara Disa, Jashi, Falkurpa, evidence as a subway assistant, a Jashi Falkurpa. Arrested Corona, arrested Corona, the car police station upon Basaduna. A polisani, Apla, Manuskicha, Nathan, the uniform Halta, the Katis and Jerry Kira, the Posta, Rasate, Temple and Pilipo, Tanjan Solizale, Hinekotelashi. 
Now, Women Commission has decided to write to the Goa Police Headquarters briefing all the facts. The Commission will also meet the Home Minister Lakshmikan Parsegal to brief on the attitude of police. We are taking the stand that to write the Education Department, uh, Police Headquarters and uh, Management to take immediate action. On the instruction of Education Department, management of the school has already suspended the accused teacher. But Commission has demanded that accused teacher should be debarred from his services. Commission has decided to summon headmaster of the school and all the teachers who allegedly supported the accused. He, on 17, that fellow is already suspended. Mr. Pravas Naik is already suspended. Sources also confirmed that the accused teacher is brother of one police inspector. While few claim that the case is being hushed up due to political interference, PTA is also divided over the issue. Bureau report prudent. State Election Commission has informed the High Court that CCP election is likely to be held on 7th March and the filling of a nomination will begin from 10th of February. The High Court has asked Goa government to file affidavit on 4th of January regarding delimitation and reservation of corporation area of Corporation of City of Panji. The High Court will hear MLA Babush Monserrat's plea on 4th of January pleading to complete delimitation at least a month before the CCP election. During the hearing before the High Court on Tuesday, Counsel for Petitioner MLA Babush Monserrat contended that Goa government should expedite the process of delimitation and reservation of corporation area of Corporation of City of Panji. Petitioner's counsel further contended that both the voters and candidates should know about new demarcated area one month prior to the CCP election. During the hearing, State Election Commission stated that as it gets data regarding new corporation area, it will notify new area. Then in consultation with the state government, reservation will be made final. State Election Commission informed the High Court that CCP election is likely to be held on 7th March and the filing of nominations will start from 10th February. Goa government contended that process of delimitation of CCP areas has begun and concerned Mamladar is working on it. Government council refused to give any specific date to complete the delimitation process but contended that if 10 January is considered as the deadline, it has a sufficient time left to complete the process. The High Court has fixed 4 January as date of final hearing and directed the Goa government to file its reply by that date. Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.